Fishing organization and the Indiana Department of Natural Resources are working together to improve fishing at a local lake. Storm Team 10's Brady Harp was at the lake today. He joins us now with more. Indiana DNR officials say area lakes can gradually lose habitats for fish. To improve areas fish live, organizations like Bass Unlimited are volunteering their time to rebuild fish habitats. Indiana Department of Natural Resources officials and Bass Unlimited volunteers gather early at Bass Lake in Greene County. They say the lake, like many others in the area, has an unseen problem. Many of our lakes were built in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, um, and during that time, uh, the lakes fished extremely well. But over time, in the natural life cycle of a lake, a lot of the natural habitat that was in these lakes have deteriorated. Some of it is even gone. The fish habitats are disappearing, so Bass Unlimited and Indiana DNR officials are making habitats themselves using old Christmas trees, wooden pallets, and more. Uh, artificial structures, and this artificial structure uh, supplements the natural structure that was in the lake. And that, that structure is actually going to become the homes of the fish. After the structures are made, they are loaded onto a boat and dropped into Bass Lake one at a time. The man-made habitats aren't just dropped randomly, they are placed in front of the handicapped fishing dock. By putting them out in front of a handicapped fishing dock right here, this allows people with limited mobility access to fish. Improving local lakes like Bass Lake in Greene County will make fishing better for anglers and Bass Unlimited officials say that will improve area communities. We're impacting uh, fishing in a positive way. We're impacting communities because if the lake fish is better, more people come to that lake. The more people that come to that lake, they're, they're helping that community because those people that are traveling to the lake and staying over, they're buying gas, they're buying groceries, they're staying in the motels. While I was at Bass Lake, there was a permitted diver capturing video of the lake before and after the structures were dropped to study how the fish respond to the improvements. Back to you.